working of a computer now we will learn how does a computer work a computer cannot work on its own now this is very important a computer cannot work on its own unless and until we switch it on and we give orders or instructions to the computer we need to enter letters numbers pictures and instructions into the computer to make it work now whenever we want a computer to work we have to enter letters or numbers or pictures in the form of instructions to the computer to make it work and then only a computer works all these are called data the numbers that we enter into the computer the letters the pictures the sounds these everything is called data all this is called data different parts of a computer do different task now every part of the computer has a different function they do different task a computer work in three basic steps so a computer works in three basic steps so every part does a different thing and it works in three steps which are input process output so how does a computer work you give the input to the computer you type a letter you type a number or you draw a picture that is called input now the computer process the input that you have given to the computer and it gives you the output so what is the output when you give the input of typing a on the keyboard the system will process it the computer will process it and understand what you have done and then it will show you the output on the monitor screen where you can see a typed so that is called the output so understand it the input are the instructions that we give to the computer then the computer process the input that we have given to the computer to show the output so we use the keyboard or the mouse to give the input the cpu process the information and the monitor will show you the output so the keyboard is used to give data and instructions the cpu will process the information and the monitor will show you the output now let's understand what is input as i told you before the data and instructions what is data the numbers letters pictures or the audio that you have entered into the computer is called data and when we type a key or when we press a mouse button those are the instructions given to the computer so the data and instructions that we enter into a computer are called input we input data using a keyboard and a mouse so the two devices that we use to input data into the computer are the keyboard and the mouse process now working on the data is called processing like whenever you hear something when the teacher is telling something you hear it from your ears and then you think it right it get processed in your brain similarly when we enter data into the computer 
the brain of the computer starts working on that data. And the brain of the computer is the CPU. So the CPU starts working on that data and that is called processing. So the working on the data is called processing. The CPU works on the data and does all the thinking and calculation. Now the computer's brain, the CPU, will start thinking on the data that you have entered and it will also do all the calculations. Right? You also calculate using your brain. Similarly, the computer also uses the CPU, the brain of the computer, to do the calculation. And when the computer is doing the calculation or the computer is doing the thinking work, that is called processing. And that is done by the CPU. Output. Now let's understand what is output. Output means the final result. Okay, output means the final result. So when we have pressed a key on the keyboard, suppose I pressed F from using the keyboard. So that is the input. Now the CPU is thinking what to do. So it is processing and then it shows you the output on the monitor. And you can see F written on the monitor. So F is the final result, that is the output. When the CPU finishes processing the data, the output is displayed on the monitor. As I told you, when the CPU finishes the thinking work, the calculation work on the data, the output is displayed on the monitor. So the monitor and printer are the most common output devices. Similarly, when you give a print command, you will get a printout on the printer. So the printout from the printer is also an output. So monitor and printer are the two most commonly used output devices. And one such device is also the speaker. The speakers of a computer also gives you the sound, the music. So it gives out the sound. So a speaker is also an output device. 